RJ, just what? referenced a couple of times, like he feels that like you now are getting back to where you were physically after the injury. Do you feel the same way, like conditioning and all that is back to where it was pre-injury? Yeah, I feel like, you know, when you come back, um, it takes you a little bit to get in your groove. And, um, you know, like I said, every day I've just been working, so you know, kind of getting back. What has been for you, uh, is the game slowed down a little bit, or have you just figured out a little bit more now uh, as far as what the vets are trying to do against you out there? Um, just. Like I said, just been kind of kind of learning and really learning my spots, kind of learning the game more. Especially, you know, I, I felt like I was doing good until I got hurt. So then coming back now and just, you know, relaxing. So, yeah. But last night after the game, James Harden had some very nice things to say about you. Aggressiveness and kind of what he's seeing in you. you, you I know you don't read that stuff, but do you get much feedback from guys like that on the board after games? I um I didn't get to see him after the game yesterday, but uh, no, I mean I just been watching him and um, how he plays and how a lot of guys play. You know, like I said, picking your spots and just you know, knowing when to be aggressive, knowing when to you know pass. So um, you know it's great to have somebody like that say something. Just wondering kind of how this looks through your eyes a little bit when you go to drive on PJ uh, late night game. Are you going into that drive thinking, let me try to bump him towards the rim so I get some space here, or is that just kind of happening on the floor of the drive? I had no clue what was going to happen. Um, you know, Mitch was there. Mitch was going to set the screen. Mitch ended up slipping, so they didn't switch. So, you know, like, I had no clue what was going to happen. I just, you know, just try to make the best of it. Do you, when you're driving up, do you... Because it seems like you always use your body pretty well to create that space. Is that something that generally is, is you know, not a goal, but something that you think about as a, a weapon for you because of your friend? I feel like it's just it's just a natural natural thing that I kind of picked up. It's not even a you know a move that I've been working on. It's just I just kind of just kind of been there. So um, yeah. There's a lot of emotion after that win, especially specifically you two on the court. But now, how do you get ready for another team coming mm -hmm. in, another high scoring team, mm -hmm. you know, not to get too high? Yeah. Um, we watched film uh, today, and, and uh, we watched some last night, and now it's over with, you know. I've got another game tomorrow, just got to keep focusing in on what we got to do, because, you know, it, it's it's easy to, you know, try to stay with it when, when you win, but just like it's just like a loss, you got to keep moving forward. When you have a night like last night, is that the night like you envisioned when you come in this year, or did you, do you think I'm a rookie that's going to be ups and downs and it's kind of unavoidable? I mean, there was still ups and downs. It was still unavoidable, but um, I was just trying to, like I said, stick with it, keep pushing through it because um, there's ups and downs for everybody, every single player, you know, year eight, year one, you know, so um, just got to stick with it. You make sure Daniel Jones comes for a few more games now, that he can maybe do good luck charm or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good to have him out there. You know, he texted me after the game, so you know, it's, it's cool to see him out there. You said on that last possession when he was defending Westbrook that you guys kind of felt like you knew it was coming based on the stuff that they had run mm -hmm. through. Do you guys talk about that in the huddle, or when you see them on the floor, do you know this is, this is um, coming? Like, how, how is that? I know. I personally, I personally saw it when we got out the huddle and we saw the setup. I think they had Russ and James in the backcourt, so I, I figured, because they had done it before, the play before, I figured they were just going to try to get Russ downhill, and we were only up two, so it was a, it was a good play, but um, yeah, Frank took the challenge and, uh, you know, he stopped it. Do you talk to Frank, do you say, hey, look, these guys are set up this way, or do you guys talk to the group and these guys are set up this way, so I think mm -hmm. he was curious, like, how to no, but, before we get out there, you just, you know, we say, um, it's kind of tough when, when, you, when you're only up two, like, you just got to get stopped. That's really it. And in that situation, you just do whatever you can to get stopped. So no French between you guys in that moment? <laughs> no, no, no. We're too, we're too focused on the game right there.